Hey guys, what's up? It is me, Mila. Happy Saturday to everyone. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. I hope you guys are feeling loved and blessed. So I'm here to do a quick little pop-in, a little video response to my girl, Miss Madmar36, Miss Marlene. For those of you that are not subscribed to Marlene, Marlene made a video talking about haters and how she experienced that um, as she was at work, a coworker of hers made a very public, not so nice comment about how she was looking too thin and how she needed to stop losing weight. And so, Mama, I wanted to kind of chime in and I was gonna leave you a comment and then I figured that I would just send you a little quick video response because there wouldn't be enough room. So I'm gonna make a quick little video response. I'm on my way to my 10 year high school reunion um, committee meeting and so, um, I just want to take some time really quick. So I just wanted to tell you that I can completely relate to what you're saying. Um, the haters that come along with the journey, it's unreal. And they come from everywhere. People that you haven't even talked to in God knows how long just start coming out of the woodworks and seem um, to have a comment about every single thing that you're doing and every single aspect of this journey. And so I just wanted to tell you that I completely relate to what you're saying. Um, and an example of that is there is a girl at work who, bless her heart, she probably weighs 400 pounds. Um, and I say that because I was almost 300 pounds and she's a lot bigger than me. And so she may be more, she may be a tad bit less, but she's probably 400 pounds. And every single time I pass by, she works down in the clerical unit for a nearby agency. And so um, when I walk by, without fail, without fail, she constantly says, you look too thin, when are you gonna stop losing weight, how much weight have you lost? I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. And she never says it maliciously, she never says it with a mean tone. I mean, she sounds pretty playful about it at all times, but it never fails. She's constantly, constantly saying stuff. And, um, it took me a while to kind of realize what was going on because I'm so oblivious. I really, really am. I'm so oblivious to stuff. You know, you get so many comments from people left and right. So you just, it's kind of hard to, to, you know, filter them out. But I finally realized, like, she's hating on me and she's doing it in her own subtle way, you know, um, because again, she's not saying things maliciously. She's just saying them, you know, playing around. And so, I can relate to what you're saying, and um, I just wanted to tell you that something that I learned, which it seems to me like you've learned as well, or you know, but in this journey, you truly just have to let your haters be your motivators, and they're going to come in all shapes and sizes, in all forms, you know, like they say, a wolf in sheep's clothing. I have people at work that are constantly inviting me out to eat. People that are leaving me chocolates on my desk, um, you know, or sweet little candies or, or things like that. And in the beginning, I thought it was super sweet. And then it's like, no, you're doing it for a reason. And so I had to learn the hard way. I really, really did. That not everybody is going to be happy for me. Not everybody is going to um, have good intentions. And even though they're not being malicious, somehow, some way, they're hating on me. And they're, it's, they're trying to sabotage you. And so, you know, shame on your coworker for, for saying something to you in such a public way. Um, if she had a concern, she should have pulled you to the side and talked to you privately. So sorry about the radio. It's like way out there and I don't want to get up and turn it off. But anyway, um, you just kind of have to let your haters be your motivators. It's the bottom line. That's the moral of my story. It seems to me like you handled it really, really well. And, um... You know, I struggle with that. I really, really do. I struggle with the idea that somebody could possibly be hating on me and somebody could possibly be jealous of me because I never thought that I would be somebody that somebody could be jealous of. You know, I just, I don't have that type of confidence to think that somebody would be jealous of me. But maybe it's not me that she's jealous of. Maybe it's the situation. Um, about a year ago, this gal had lost 80 pounds and she gained it all back. And so maybe she's mad at herself. You know, I don't know. And so maybe your coworker too. If she's as heavy as, as you're saying that she is, she's she's hating on you. She's just jealous. And so anyway, mamita, I'm not going to take too much time. I just wanted to make a video response to tell you that kudos to you for sticking up to yourself because this was a form of being bullied. And shame on this lady for not having enough tact and enough class to pull you to the side to talk to you. 
Um, at the end of the day, this is about you. This is your journey. Whether you want to be 300, 400 pounds, whether you want to be 154, whatever. Whatever it is, this is your journey. This is our journey. And we're going to do what feels right to us and what feels best to us. You know, I could understand if we were bulimic or anorexic or something that was causing concern, but we're just a lot thinner than we used to be, and people are having a hard time accepting that and seeing that for what it is. So, anyway, I'm going to let you go. I just wanted to say kudos to you. I love you. I think you're absolutely amazing. You've got such a beautiful soul, and don't let this get you down. Don't let this make you feel any which way. You're way better than that, and I know that you know that, but I just had to tell you that. So, I hope you have a great rest of the weekend, Mamita. I love you so much. For everybody else that's watching, I hope you guys are having an amazing weekend, week and weekend, a blessed weekend, and I will talk to you guys all soon. Take care. God bless. Besitos, guys. Bye.